Hey everyone, Roscoe here. In this video, I will show you how to record macro, how to use it, and as well, I show you how to import macros in between the spreadsheets. Now you start with your spreadsheet. My spreadsheet is a few dummy data I'm going to use. So feel free to use whichever you like. And I know that I want to make some changes in this sheet. And then I have a sheet two and sheet three. They're all the same at the moment, but just pretend they're all different, right? And I know that I want to change this first and second and third cell here. So I want to change that to the first name, last name, and company name. And I want to do the same for the sheet two and sheet three. So I'm going to start recording our macro. I click extensions, macro, and record macro. And I have two options here. I'm going to leave it for use absolute reference. Later, I'm going to show you how to use relative reference. But for this example, we're going to use this. So leave it as this and start doing your changes. So first name, we change the first name. Last name, it's last name, yeah, that's easier, right? Company name as well. That'll do us for this moment. And we're gonna change the colors, let's say. So we do our selection. You're gonna alternate in colors. You're gonna give it some nice color. That one looks not so bad. Click down, that's our colors. Now let's say we want to change the header font size. So we give it a 14, for example, making bold. Okay. And yeah, I think that should do us for this moment. So we can click save and give it a name. Give a name for our macro. We're going to call it uh, colors and font. For example, right? Save that. For this moment, we're gonna ignore this edit script, right? And we're going into our sheet two, and we wanna have the same changes here. So we're gonna use our macro we just recorded. We're gonna click extensions, macros, and here you can see our macro. So we just click on that. We authorize as Pressing continue, select our account. At the moment, just allow. So click that again. Colors and our changes are done. Should be done by now. Yeah, very good. Now, if we move to the sheet three, now without the authorization, it should just work just like that. Very good. Now that that's for this example. And now we're going to try record our macro in relative references. So we just click use relative reference. And for example, in this column, we want to select everything that's OH. And let's say we want to highlight it with a different color, right? So we select that. We find the conditional formatting. And let's say if it's equal, our text is exactly OH. We're going to do a different color. So we just go for something reddish done okay now i can close this and everything is oh is highlighted for us okay so we're gonna click save give it a name the oh it'll do save there and now you think you wanna 
go to sheet 2 in here in this case and apply our macro on selected column go in extensions macros and click OH but you can see it's actually applied to the second column from where we really want it okay so if you're gonna run OH in here it's actually gonna highlight there which we don't want so you're gonna have to either start from here click extensions and run your macro to show your changes in here or you could go and edit macro okay so if you click extensions macros and find your actually go manage macros find your macro record is oh edit script right that'll show us what the macro really looks like and here you find your macro oh and at the moment i believe you don't understand what it all means but this plus two if you take it off it actually do the job for us you're gonna save that here go back to your spreadsheet now we can just click ctrl z to undo the changes and we're gonna run our macro and select the row and it's the column we actually wanted to have it's changed so by little editing the script you get what you really want so let's see if that's working we just select this row this column run our macro and we just rewrite some of the things to oh and as you can see it's working grant so that's how you use your macro let's go back for a second in our script editor where we can edit our macro so one way to get there is uh, click in here edit script which will show us the script editor it's stored in the file macros.gs and here is all our macros right so here is one starting with the keyword function ending here and there is another starting and ending down here so we have a two functions two macros we can use okay as you see before i edited here from plus two i just deleted it you can edit it any way you like and just then click save and you're gonna run your macro see if it's working good if not you can come back and undo the changes you did okay so there is no big deal about this now for this moment just remember how we got here and there's another way to get here if we close this you can go extensions and instead of the macro you go to app script directly from here and if you would see more files in here you just click on the macros okay so that's it for this moment and now i'm going to show you something else let's say we want to get out of this sheet we're going to open another sheet spreadsheet we have here created and we would like those changes apply here as well okay so if you go in extensions macros you see there is no macro and the way to import our macro is come back again in our previous previous spreadsheet go back to your app script it when it get loaded okay now and here you can either copy one function or all of them so let's say we're gonna grab all of them and that's include the first line here as well copy all that 
Now for this moment we can close this and return to the spreadsheet we want to get changed, which is this one. Now, and if you remember, there was nothing in macros, right? So we open up script. Wait when it gets loaded. Now there is a file named code.js. You can either leave that or you can create a new file called macros. Okay. And then this one, you can delete this and you paste your code that you just copied a while ago and click save. Now, if you return back to the spreadsheet, go to extensions macros, you can import macro and select the functions you'd like. Okay, so we want to select the add function of colors and fonts. And we want to add our OH macro as well, add function. Now you close this, go back to the extensions, macros, and there you can see our macros are there. So once you click those, you're going to have to authorize it again. Just give it a second. <coughs> now there's authorization required, so we click continue. We select our account and allow. Okay, so let's try that again. Our macro has been running, right? And you can try that on sheet three, for example. And it's working. Now we'll try our another macro. OH and what's going to happen? It's running with authorization, so that's grand. And so, yeah, that's working grand. That's how you import the macro from one spreadsheet to another spreadsheet because once you create macro in one sheet, it only work in that spreadsheet you created. So the way to import it is the copy and paste in our script editor and just quick uh, add-on to the authorizations right so we just come back to the up script here and we're gonna pay attention to the only current doc line okay so if you don't copy this line and let's say you just copy the functions and you come back to create new spreadsheet. We just make a blank for this example. We go here in the extensions up script. We paste our code in this file, for example, we can create new one, doesn't matter. And save that without the first line. Come back here. You know, run our import our macro first, of course, add the functions, and then we're gonna run it just like that. Need to authorize that, okay? And it's gonna be a little bit different. Just give it a sec. Okay, now we can continue select our account and you can see google hasn't verified this up so this is all because of the first line so you can either go back and add the line or just go here advanced go down here click and then you allow okay that's all about the authorization so i would suggest don't forget to copy the first line as well and that's me done for this tutorial so yeah thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment and if you want to see more from me please subscribe and like this video thanks again bye bye